What's up guys, Krongle Stubonkin here, and today we are playing as Kogma AD Carry. Welcome to pre-season 11, everybody. Hope your season 10 went exactly how you wanted to. You climbed, you ascended to the ranks that you deserve, and you had a good time. To answer a couple questions, just because people keep asking me, what do I think of pre-season 11? What do I think of season 10? What do I think of the items, all this stuff? Items are cool. Season 10 was... Eh. And preseason looks like it'll be fun. Uh, I think what will hinge the enjoyment of the game, though, is if Riot actually delivers on their promise to address all the toxicity in the game. If they can do that, I'm looking at this season with cautious optimism. I think it's going to be sick. I think it's going to be dank. I think it's going to be rad. Um, but going into this game, one thing I will say, uh, let me know if this camera angle bothers you. I don't know why it would, but I was curious about trying it. Because for some reason, it satisfies my brain to see my uh, my Mike's arm come out of the minimap like that. It, for some reason, very much satisfies my brain. But I wanted to try Kog'Maw with all the new shredding items with the new Ginsu's, uh, with Kraken Slayer. So we'll be going lots of on-hit effects this game. And at level 1 here, can't do anything against the Nami, so I'm not even going to try. It's uh, 2 range versus 1 range, 1 melee. So we chilling. I do have Cole here too, because they have some beefy boys. Uh, one thing that may be an issue for me in this game is that they do have a uh, Nocturne. So we'll <laughs> we may be at his mercy, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Because if you don't know what New Ginsu's does, by the way, uh, it's kind of like a similar item. Instead of stacking, though, it makes it so you can't crit. And you just deal a bunch of bonus physical damage on hit. It still doubles your on hit effects. So still very nice for Kog'Maw. Still very nice for general on hit champions all around. Uh, and then of course we'll be going Kraken Slayer for you know, more on hit effects. And I'll probably go Blade the Rune King after that. Rune Ants Hurricane after that. And also, um, one thing you'll probably notice a lot is people are going to be changing runes a lot in preseason. Um, you'll probably notice a lot of players choosing to take, uh, Ravenous Hunter now as their secondary of choice instead, oops, but instead of, um, Sorcery. Now, why is that? Because Ravenous Hunter was changed. It no longer is, uh, Spell Vamp or whatever on spells. It's now just Omni Vamp. So, it gives you a lot of healing through everything. If you don't know what Omni Vamp is, Omni Vamp means you heal off of any damage. So true damage, ability damage, item damage, whatever. If it's damage you dealt, you'll heal from it. So it's a very, very strong rune now. And I imagine we're going to see a lot of people taking it. And I'm going to be one of those people because I love Omni Vamp. I think it's sick. But so far so good i'm still i'm still just a good old biscuit bacon in this oven down here i'll come out when i'm ready when i'm golden delicious flaky mm. when i'm ready to just have the butter spread all over me i don't know what i'm saying i'm tired but point is i'm scaling is what i was <laughs> what i was really getting at there is i'm scaling so We'll get there when we get there. For now, though, nothing to be done. How much is Kraken Slayer? Because I am going that first, no doubt. Okay, wait. Maybe I spoke too soon? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Nicely done! Ooh! You know, I thought we were going to have to come out of the oven first, but someone already had their biscuits buttered, if I do say so myself. Well done, Leona. Going ham and capitalizing on a little unexpected aggression from the Kaisa there. But, ooh, I would actually really like to just shove this instead of even worry about this dragon right now. Because they shouldn't need me for it. And I would love to get a better recall here. Am I going to miss this siege? No, I would never. 
I would never miss a siege. I would miss a caster, though. All right, let's recall. So we'll get our noon quiver. Um, and probably boots. I think that's going to be the play. So we'll get noon quiver, boots, and I'll sell this and grab a refillable. They have a lot of poke in their lane with Nami. But um, I want to get this refillable because I'm going to not have lifesteal for a while. Um, obviously, my Omni Vamp will kind of kick in a little while from now. Uh, but until then, I've got no means to sustain. And I think refillable is just fantastic. Once you've already used, what, three charges of it? It already paid for itself. And Nami's mid for some reason. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to freeze this. So to freeze this, I'll actually need to kill a couple of these minions because they are doing a little too much damage. So let's get this. This should... Ooh, my break now. Should be fine. Yeah, the next wave is here. It'll catch him. We are frozen, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, what? That's okay. Oh, we're freezing this here because that keeps the wave on my side. So if Nami's going to roam right now and we're not in a position to actually dive the Kaisa, this forces Kaisa to actually walk up to the wave to get any CS at all. Uh, thus exposing herself to any danger in the lane and you know potentially putting her in a bad situation I'm doing this and just get money An enemy has been slain. and just like that I was actually well like I see as down but just from a small freeze there I was able to actually catch up pretty well oh look at this damage you shouldn't have split off oh maybe I shouldn't can I can I just kill this I really didn't expect him to be six already. That's my bad. I guess it is seven minutes. So he was over here? Hmm. Hmm, bitch. All right, well, you know what? You've officially buttered my biscuits, and that's fine. Well, we'll just walk back here. I shouldn't really get punished for that any further than I already did, in the sense that I won't miss, like, a bunch of minions or anything. It does kind of suck, though, and that's what I was referring to when I was saying that... I'm kind of going to be at Nocturne's mercy this game. Because um, with a Leona, I don't really have anyone that can, you know, stop that from happening. Oh, the return, though. And minion block. Yeah. Please. Pop. Pop. <laughs> I don't miss. Can I just kill this? Oh. Do you have enough... Do you have enough mana for all of that? Really? Okay. Wait a minute, who got a double kill? Scion got a double kill? That's not good. Oh well, I still got the kill on Kai'Sa. Unfortunately, I actually get punished more for this though. Because the minion is going, or the minion wave is going towards her. She'll actually get back in time to catch all, like, all of this. So. Kind of a crummy situation for me. I went way too aggressive there. I thought I would have more than plenty damage to kill the Nami there as well. Wait, that's so funny. Kaisa's 0 2 0 and Nami's 3 0 and 1. Oh my gosh. Well, at least we're big ahead of the Kaisa. So let's grab this. And I guess they're going really ham on mid right now. Ooh, I canceled one of my autos there. I doubt she takes this ult. I don't think she even has her ult up right now. I think it's still on cooldown from when she used it earlier. Do a little bit of damage there. Keep in mind, as Kog'Maw, you don't want to just spam your ultimate, because every time you use it, it costs 40 more mana than previously. So, up to a cap of 200, but still, it costs... Quite a lot over time. So do be cognizant of that when you're trying to poke with it. Mm. And now she's in the danger zone of the ultimate. Because now, whenever you hit someone below 40% HP with Kog'Maw's ultimate, it does a lot more damage. So you, my friend, are in some trouble if you stay here. Because now I'm cooking with gas. 
Uh, let's grab this. The Nocturne's ult won't be up for a little while. I don't need to worry too much about that. Even though he is bottom, I should respect it. I really do want to stay until I can get my full Kraken Slayer, though. This Kraken Slayer is a really, really large boost to my damage. If you don't know what Kraken Slayer does, Kraken Slayer is every third auto will do bonus true damage. So just think Vayne W, except you don't need to hit the same target three times. It is just anybody. I should be mindful, though, because Nocturne is right here. So he can kind of walk down, hit this blast cone, and just walk up at us. <clears throat> Will he? Who knows? Can he? Yes. And that's terrifying. So I'll just chill here and completely miss the minion. <laughs> that died really fast. What the heck? What the? Okay. Okay. And our coal is already coming along very nicely as well. Ooh, this should be... Ooh, a 600 gold shutdown for is for me? Okay. I like 600 gold shutdown. Why was that freaking... That's not a sushi roll. That's a sushi boat. Oh my goodness. We just plundered all that treasure. That's amazing. And this wave makes it all the way to the tower. So I'm good. The reason I'm not staying for this turret plate here is because I already have enough money for everything I want to purchase. And... I don't want to sit here and greed when Nocturne probably has his ult back up. And I have a very good recall here anyways, being able to recall as the Kais is getting back to base, because she won't really be able to push like super hard. And if she does, the most I miss is like three melee minions. So I'm valuing being able to actually recall here over um over going for a turret plate. Because a lot of people ask me, like, hey, Spangle, why don't you stay for turret plates? It's because generally. Like, turret plates, yeah, they're worth 160 gold. That's nice. Right? Like, that's nice. We don't want to fight this, because Nocturne is behind us. Um, But you have to kind of base it, like... If I had stayed for the turret plate, got the turret plate, and then missed the entire next minion wave. Well, that entire next minion wave is worth pretty much the same amount of gold as that turret plate was. But the turret plate doesn't give me experience as well. So, it can be very problematic to sit there and get into this greedy mindset of like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get these turret plates. I gotta get these turret plates. Because you do not. You do not gotta do it. So, with Nocturne's ult down, though, we can get back to scrapping. And let's see. Use the Kraken Slayer auto on her. Mm. So, remember, every third hit will have enhanced visuals. And do a bunch of bonus true damage right now. The next up is Ginsu's. And like I said, once we get Ginsu's, I'll stop critting. But I'll do a bunch of bonus physical damage on every hit. Which for Kog'Maw, kind of nice. Because you really like having your damage so split. It makes it hard for people to just itemize against you. Oof. Owie. That was a good bubble. I mean, I walked right into it, but it was a good bubble nonetheless. I'm actually so close to having my cold done already. That is sick. And I'll just chill. If my Leona's gonna go roam, totally fine. I just need to chill while she's doing it. I don't know if they can kill this. Silas is kind of scary. And he's not even that fed. Wow. <laughs> I thought with, uh, you know, being that beefy, he'd be a little more fed. I was very wrong this you want to throw down you want to throw down i'll throw down y'all want to fight me come back here i ain't done yet i ain't done come back what's that where'd all your gusto go kaisa do it take it i dare you i double dare you i'm here go yeah my man I will walk up and heal him if needed. Not needed. Well done. Wait, what the hell happened mid? <laughs> what? I, I got a freaking inhibit 15 minutes? Where was I? I missed all of this. Alright, whatever. 
I can give this turret and I can recall. Um, I would love. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Send help. Oh, geez. He's so fast. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what's up? What's up, bro? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'll just ping Silas's TP there. And how much does Ginsu's cost? Ooh, I get it. So Ginsu is 2,600 gold? Bruh? I guess I'll just get the entire damn thing. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm about it. <laughs> I'm about it. And we'll get another dagger after this too, so I can work towards my Runanunanans. And my Blade of the Rune King. I think Blade of the Rune King works a little differently now. Um, oh, it's actually less damage on hit, but the uh, the active, like the movement speed stealing portion is no longer an active. It's actually a passive. Whenever you hit things three times, you'll steal the movement speed and do additional damage. Yoink! <laughs> Thanks for the leash, buddy. I didn't know that Heimer yelled in his recall. That's hilarious. That's actually so funny. And I think, uh... I think Nocturne is going to be looking for vengeance on me after that one. So I'm just going to... Hustle back bottom. So let's see what Ginsu's does. Every third attack applies your own hit effects twice. And since we have 40% crit, uh, it's 45 physical damage per 20% crit chance. So each of my attacks is doing 90 more uh, physical damage on hit. And every third attack, that gets applied twice. Uh-oh. Sion's coming! The pain train has left the station and met its fate with a miss. But you know what? That's okay. It's the thought that counts. It is the thought that counts. And I just want to do some big damage to people right now. Because I'm really strong. But I will not force fights too hard. Because if Nocturne ults on me, I'm a sad Pogma. I'm still kind of pogging out, but like I'm a sad Pogma if he does that. Okay, well, let's go up anyways. She dead, right? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Nicely done. Come here, son. Come on. Come back. Don't do it. Worth. Worth. Completely worth. I may die for it, but it's about saying a message. You you assassinate me, I just go boop and pop on your face. <sighs> Feels good, man. Okay. So, recurve bow. Sell this. <laughs> I don't know if I actually used uh, that refillable potion one single time. The Ravenous Hunter and Taste of Blood have really been feeling good. Honestly. I, I didn't realize how nice those would really feel. So the refillable was a complete waste. So. I mean, good to know. I just had no idea, man. I had no idea. All right. And I think, yeah, I think Blade of the Rune King is going to be the play here. Because Runans is really good, but very expensive. What's up, fellas? It's me, it's your bitch. Hey, look, I stood in it. You can get me. Bonk. <laughs> he used his spell shield blocking my damage, so he had to actually flash away from my Leona. Fantastic. Fantastic. I should be a little careful of that. Okay. Ooh, that was 1,200 true damage, though. Okay. 
See, this is exactly what I need to be a little more respectful of. Because, like, obviously, we know what's going to happen, right? Like, we know what's going to happen. And it's my fault for letting it happen and being aggressive like this. I'm just trying to make stuff happen because I want to fight. But we'll stop being dumb. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm up soon. I mean, I got to waddle my way there. So, oh, <laughs> look, at, look at my little legs go. These legs were made for running. And baby, I'm coming. And not today will I keep wandering in the field full of whoopsie daisies. No. Today, I will make it all up to my entire team and put them on my back. I will steal. Oh, I was actually so close, though. I actually thought I got it. I don't think I can do anything here. Can I? Is he still doing that? <laughs> he tried so hard not to let me get it. And I still get it. Yoink. Mine now. Thank you for another very good leash, Mr. Nocturne. I appreciate it. Much obliged. I... Let's go ahead and clear this back line real fast and dip to go grab our Blade the Rune King. Um, I am being very over aggressive with my items here because obviously I would ideally try and get some sort of defensive item versus Nocturne's Dive, but like, Mama didn't raise no baby bag bitch, okay? So like, I'm just gonna keep building damage. I've got a flash this time, I mean, Obviously, that's all I need. Duh. But, you know, it's it's never bitch made to pick up your boy Demetrius. You know he's there for you. He is your boy for a reason. It's not on me. Okay. Ah! Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, jeez. There was an 800-pound man in my face. Okay, I'm coming from the side. I'm coming from the side. Let's drop it. That was a big one. I should be safe here, actually. This is my Penta. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Wait, come here. I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. I'm gonna heal. Give him the heal. Give him the heal. Oh, no. Come on, bruh. Give it to me. Don't be like that. Come on, man. Give me it. Oh, he's going. Oh, I'm tanking. All right. I don't think I'm going to get it. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting this. I also need to run because Nocturne is spawning and he will have his ulti up. So, ooh, that's scary. No Penta here, because Silas actually busted his flash just to make sure I wouldn't get it. Little sad, but still showing how much damage I really do in, uh, in that fight. That's pretty sick. And from here, Runans. So we'll get Zeal and grab another dagger. Actually, I'll go ahead and grab Pickaxe here. Because I've got so much AD, or not AD, but attack speed, that uh, 25 AD is going to be doing me a lot more work. Much more work. So. Runan's such a good item now, man. It just gives so much. It just gives so, so much. Can I do anything here? I... I think it's a little risky for me to be up here. Okay, I see Nocturne, so maybe it's a little less risky. Well, kind of risky, but a little less. I should wait for my team, though, because we should just play around this. So we establish vision in this area right now, and then we... Wow. <laughs> that Scuttle died fast, man. So fast that Leona actually took it on accident. It's funny. 
Um, if Scion walks up here, I can probably actually just kill him. I do have my eye on Nocturne behind me, so we'll just keep, in, keep that in mind. Okay. Let's focus this. Because the Mountain Dragon, or the Mountain Soul is going to be so nice for me. Oh, Nocturne's dead. Or, that was a really good spell shield. <laughs> Silas has a Scion ultimate. That's terrifying. Where's he going? Oop. Okay, bye-bye. Man, I used all my mana trying to shoot that guy. I mean, it kept him corralled instead of being able to go towards his team, but that's okay. Whoa! Silas went deep there. Okay. Pew! 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 <laughs> Alright. Both flashes out. We'll just go grab the dragon. This is our soul, so we should just take it. And I'm melting this thing. This bitch melting! What's up, fellas? Op, 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 op. Man, that dude has 4,000 health, and I am, like, hmm, melting him like butter on a hot summer day, baby. I want to go get my runans first. So, let me do that. And I want to get Baron. I know they just want to win the game, but, like, I want this game to keep going. I'm having a lot of fun. This is, this is very enjoyable. So, Gensu's does 135 damage now, because... Runans is a crit item. Uh, the bolts from Runans apply on hit effects. I get move speed, I get attack speed, I get AD, I get crit chance. Runans is busted. I will go grab red real fast. And be a happy little Pogma. That's not on me. That's mid. Can I save the day? I cannot. Oh, this is... This is the place to be. You think you do damage to me? You do not? Oh. Oh. There it is. My second Penta. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get this, Baron. Oh my goodness gracious. Like a balloon entering the stratosphere, this thing going pop. Pop, pop, pop. Baron gonna drop. Goodbye, Baron. Goodbye. Now, what item do I want here? Um... I actually don't know what I would want here. I guess I could go... A guardian angel, maybe? GA might not be bad. Or I could go the new bloodthirster. Or Cyril does Grudge. Ooh. Many good choices here. Many good choices. Um. Where is Guardian Angel? Is it even an item? It is. Okay. I think GA is going to be my best choice. By a lot. Because it lets me build Stopwatch, which is just really good. Uh, versus the dudes that want to dive on me. And then it'll just help a lot in general. So. Time for the Ultra Giga Omega Hyper Poggers Crazy Baron Power Play of the Century brought to you by the Astral Turbo Chad Pogma himself. Running it down mid. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to scrap. I'm ready to throw hams. I ain't talking no Christmas hams. I'm talking these things. This is what we buy it for. <laughs> Kited! That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what we purchased the, uh, the stopwatch for. Oh my gosh, the Omni Vamp. All right, come on, enemy team. Stop me from winning the game. I dare you. You know what? I'll even come to you. Let's go. 
melt, 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 melt. Come back! Oh, Nami! Nami! Nami, honey! Bitch! Nami, honey! I ain't done. I ain't done. Bitch! I couldn't even see it. Invisibubbles! I ain't done yet. Okay. I should probably be done. Alright, he's cutting her off. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so like we can all agree that like I could have just ended the game, but that was a hundred times more satisfying. <laughs> and I can get a guardian angel now, or I can go even larger. Dick. I can get real horny for the damage. Sell my stopwatch, buy an entire bloodthirster. That's that's pretty sweet. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm I'm going to do that, actually. Okay. So 2.5 attack speed with 80% crit, but we don't crit. We just do a bunch of on-hit physical damage. So it is time for us to fight for the elder because I want those lasers. I don't have flash. I don't have stopwatch. I ain't got nothing. Nothing but. fists angry fists and a bunch of very corrosive bile red buff doesn't even spawn until after the elder that's that's a tragedy okay but am i an assassin that's the real question oh no wait they just my team doesn't even need me. Okay, they need me for that guy, though. All right, don't worry, team. I'm here. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yeah. Beat me up. I dare you. All righty. 24 and 6. Definitely making Kogma look like he's pretty OP in this, uh, this here preseason 11, huh? Not even going to get the Elder. We'll just end the game. We'll do it this time. This time for real. But I got to pad the stats a bit more first. Give me all these minions. Give me all the CS. Wow, look at that amazing CS. GG, well played though. What a game. What a game, dude. Kogma, I don't know. He's feeling good. He's feeling good. He's got me feeling some kind of way. 20... Four and six. 55,000 damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, that was... And how much of it was true damage? 6,300. That's not bad. That's more than 10% of my damage was true damage. Wow. That's... How much was magic? So, I did 32,000 physical and 17,000 magic? Damn. Well, that was a great game. The gold value is a lot closer than I thought it was. A really good game. Here's the runes I use. Um, and if you did enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like and a comment. It really does help me out. Um, I want to thank everybody again for the campaign on the 10 plush. Uh, this little fella did actually manage to meet his goal. So that was super amazing. I want to thank everyone just one more time uh, for purchasing one or telling your friends about it, whatever. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody. Um... And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!